Welcome back to the mat. As you can see, I have a variety of different dumbbells in front of me. Today we are doing a traditional strength workout focused on your back. This one I love and I'm so excited to bring you through this routine. We have super sets of exercises. These are the same exercises that you can do in the gym. I'm gonna teach you in the comfort of your home so that you can get comfortable with all of these exercises. But if you are doing this in the gym, feel free. Grab the weights that you need to. You can transition some of these exercises to machines as well. But we're gonna get started in a standing position. Arms up overhead, palms facing away from you. Roll your shoulders down and back. We're gonna pull those elbows into our side, starting to stretch out our back. Belly button is pulled in nice and tight. Because we are working your back today, I'm gonna challenge you to lift a little bit heavier. Your back is such a big muscle. So we're gonna get your back nice and warmed up before we add a load. So weight onto those muscles. Big, strong pulls. You want to start activating your lats, that big muscle that spans from your shoulder blades down your back in towards your pelvis. Big, strong pulls here. Three, two, and one, take those arms in front, elbows are in line with your shoulders, palms facing one another, big pull open. Squeeze your back the entire time. Keep that core nice and strong. You might be feeling it in the arms already. Great job, six more. Four, three, two, and one. I want you to hinge forward. Belly button is pulled in, hips are back, palms are facing one another. We're gonna bring those arms, keeping them straight. In line with your ears, down on the 45, down and then out to a T. Squeeze your back the entire time. Straight, 45, and T. Straight. 45 and T. Straight. 45, T. Three more. Last one. Straight. 45 and T. Stand up tall. Feel free to twist it side to side. If you need to get any extra kinks out of your back, Make it nice and flexible. Do so now. If you need to pause the video and grab your dumbbells, feel free to do that as well. Heavy, medium, and light, I would definitely recommend a few different weight options. That way you can adjust if needed. Two and one, beautiful. All right, we're gonna start with a single arm row and we're gonna start heavy on this one. So. If you have a couch or chair or even a bench at home, I want you to pull that out. I'm gonna utilize my couch even though I have a bench because I wanna show you how easily you can do this workout at home without needing any extra equipment. You are going to be standing facing towards your bench, your couch, your chair. We're gonna start with that right leg forward first, your left leg extended back, nice and straight, your right hand resting on the couch. Now my head, to my tailbone is staying in that straight line. My shoulders and my hips are staying squared off to the ground. I'm gonna have that dumbbell in my hand. I am pressing my right hand into that bench, couch, or chair. As you do this, you're going to lift from your back that dumbbell up to your hip, okay? You're not lifting it up to your rib cage. You wanna pull it to your hip and you wanna engage from that muscle right behind your shoulder blade. So that is the area that is going to be pulling and lifting that dumbbell up. Now, your back is a big muscle, so I wanna challenge you on this. Pick slightly heavier of a weight than what you would normally pick up, just slightly heavier. See if you can do that. Assume the position, we have 10 repetitions. Belly button is pulled in, core is engaged. Use your back to your hip and down. Nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Set it all the way down. Nice job. Switch it over to the other side. Staggered stands. Nice strong back here. Belly button is pulled in. Core is tight. Ten more reps. Use your back. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Set that weight down slightly off to the side because you are coming on the ground next. We're going to pair this with a dumbbell pullover. Still going to be hitting our lats, but taking the pressure off of your rhomboids. So grab a medium sized dumbbell. You are coming all the way down onto the ground. Knees are bent, feet are flat, belly button is pulled in to help support your low back. Those arms are going to hold on to each end of your dumbbell. Belly button is pulled in towards the ground the entire time. Arms stay straight, they're coming behind your head. Big strong pull directly over your chest. Arms back, strong pull. Take a second to get down on the ground. Assume the position, belly button in. Together we have 10. Exhale on that pull. Keep that belly button pulled in. Keep that low back secured to the ground. Good job, four more. Two more. Beautiful. Slowly bring those arms down. Set that weight off to the side. You have about a 20 second rest here. Then we are going back to that single arm row. Take a second, <clears throat> grab a sip of water if you need to. Single arm row, focusing on your back, pulling that dumbbell up to your hip. Adjust the weight if you need to, but this is your last round. So if you can do the same weight, do the same weight. If you want to increase it a little bit, increase it. If you want to decrease it, decrease it. All right, we're starting in five seconds. Three, two, one, 10 more reps. 10, nine, full range, eight, seven, Six, five, to your hip, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Switch it out, opposite side, belly button in, 10 more repetitions. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Set that dumbbell all the way off to the side. On your back for that lap pullover. If you want to do a lap pull down in the gym instead, you can. But this is a great alternate exercise for you to do at home. Start with that weight straight above your chest. Roll your shoulders down and back, belly button pulled in. Bring the weight behind you, big strong pull, back over. Nine more. Two, 
and one. Slowly bring that weight down and set it off to the side. I'm gonna keep you on the mat for your next two exercises. Take a second here, catch your breath while I demo this next one. You are going into a Superman, but we're gonna do these a little bit differently. So you are on your stomach. Instead of those arms being straight out, I want your arms like a W. You are going to lift your chest, your arms, and your legs up. From here, you're reaching out. You are pulling back and then setting down. You're lifting, reach, big strong pull, and down. Okay, we have eight of those together. Now stay with my counts here because we don't want to go too fast. Ready? Let's go. Up, reach, pull, down. Up, reach, pull, down. Up, reach, pull, down. Up, reach, we are halfway. <clears throat> Up. Reach, pull, down. Up, reach, pull, down. Up, reach, pull, one more. Up, reach, pull, and rest. Push back into child's pose. Stretch that one out. <clears throat> Staying on the ground, we're gonna go into a single arm bird dog row. So now we're going to work on balance. So I'm going to use the dumbbell in my left hand and I am utilizing my medium weight here. My left knee is staying on the ground. Your right hand, so my right hand is going to be my stabilizing hand, is directly under my shoulder. My right leg is going to be extended out back behind me. When you lift that leg up, gravity is going to try to pull your belly button in. I want you to lift your core to the ceiling. Okay, so you're pulling your core up to the ceiling so that you can engage it and stabilize. Keeping that leg high, that elbow and that dumbbell is still going to your hip and back down, just like it was leaning onto your couch or chair. Okay, we have 12 repetitions of this. Belly button in, leg up nice and high. Ready? Let's go. Core is tight all the way down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Flip it over to the other side. Again, use your back to lift that leg and that dumbbell. Okay, core is nice and tight. Belly in. Let's go.
three, two, and one. Beautiful. Switch it to the other side. Twelve more. One, two, three, four, five. Leg a little higher. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Great job. Take a second, shake it out. We're going to stand for the next two exercises. We have bench over dumbbell rows and rear delt flies. Grab a quick drink if you need it. All right, we are starting with those bent over dumbbell rows. So you are going into a hinged position. Hips are shooting back, feet are on the outside of your hips, weights are in front, starting in front of your knees. Belly button is pulled in tight. You are pulling the weights to your hips and extending them back down. Stand up really quick if you need to. Let's do these all together. Grab your dumbbells. Together we have 12. Ready? Bend it over. Let's go. Core is tight. Use your back. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Stand it up. Switch the weights if you need to for your rear delt fly. Let's go through form first. You're going to take this back into that hinge position. Belly button is pulled in. Hips are back. Palms are going to face one another. You're going to have a soft bend in your elbow. You bring those weights out to the side by squeezing your back together. So it's going to feel like you're making a W if you were to be standing. You're not standing, you're hinged the entire time. Pull and down, pull and down. Grab those dumbbells. We have 10 repetitions. Let's do this together. Hinge it, belly in. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Good. Shake it out. Take a second. Quick sip of water. We're going back to those other dumbbells. We're going back to your bent over row. 12 repetitions in five, four, three, two, and one. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Switch those weights out. We have one more thing. Those rear delt flies. 10 more reps. We got this. Ready? Belly button in. Last exercise, 10 reps. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set those weights down. Feel free to give yourself a big hug to stretch out your back muscles and to thank yourself for doing this workout. I'm so glad that you joined me for this back workout. If you're not already following me and subscribe, definitely subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram at livewellwithbaka. I will see you again tomorrow right here on the mat.